so this is problem 5 on resolution and composition of forces so here uh, it says that 2 kilonewton force is the resultant of system of forces acting up along y axis as shown in figure okay so whatever this 2 kilonewton force given this 2 kilonewton force is the resultant force which is acting up along y axis determine the value of f and theta and force f is one of the system of forces okay we have to determine magnitude of force f and its inclination theta okay so here the resultant lies in y axis correct so as per this note if the resultant lies in y axis we have two conditions sigma fx equal to 0 and sigma f equal to r we will utilize these two conditions to solve for unknown force f and theta okay solution solution so this is this belongs to note number 3 r is equal to 2 kilo newton okay sigma fx equal to 0 which is equal to sigma fy okay so if the resultant lies in y axis sigma fx equal to 0 and sigma fy equal to r okay so as resultant lies in y axis therefore sigma fy is equal to r okay that resultant force is 2 kN 2 kN and sigma fx is equal to 0 okay now I will take uh, these two conditions one by one first I will take sigma fy equal to 2 kN taking sigma fy is equal to 2 kN 2 kN now you find sigma fy using system of forces before that you write the components for all the inclined forces so here for 2.4 kN force horizontal component is 2.4 cos 30 vertical component is 2.4 sin 30 similarly for force f horizontal component is f cos theta vertical component is f sin theta okay now sigma fx sigma fy is equal to 2 kN condition I have taken now you find sigma fy using system of forces which are all the system of forces 5 kN, 4f and 2.4 kN using these three forces you need to find sigma fy means sum of forces in y direction so 5 kN it is acting in x direction leave it so plus f sin theta f sin theta is acting in upper direction plus f sin theta plus f sin theta then minus 2.4 sin 30 minus 2.4 sin 30 is equal to 2 therefore by this you will get the value of f sin theta that is 3.2 kN 3.2 kN call this as equation number 1 now take the second condition that is sigma fx equal to 0 taking sigma fx equal to 0 sum of forces in x direction equal to 0 so here we have 5 kN which is acting in x direction minus 5 minus 5 <coughs> then plus f cos theta don't consider this resultant force while finding sigma fx or sigma f y using system of forces okay plus f cos theta plus f cos theta then plus 2.4 cos 30 plus 2.4 cos 30 is equal to 0 by this we will get the value of f cos theta that is uh, 2.92 2.92 kilo newton we can call this as equation number 2 solving 1 and 2 that is squaring and adding equation 1 and 2 we get f square sin square theta plus f square cos square theta is equal to 
3.2 square plus 2.92 square so if you take f square common in the bracket sin square theta plus cos square theta so value of which is 1 which is, is equal to 18.76 that is uh, sum of 3.2 square plus and uh, 2.92 square okay taking square root on both sides you will get the value of f that is 4.33 kilonewton 4.33 kilonewton okay now to get the value of theta you divide equation 1 by equation 2 equation 1 by equation 2 gives f sin theta divided by f cos theta is equal to f sin theta is 3.2 f cos theta is 2.92 f gets cancelled tan theta is equal to 3.2 divided by 2.92 therefore theta is equal to tan inverse of 3.2 divided by 2.92 so the answer for angle theta is 47.605 degree okay so to this we got the unknown force f and its inclination theta okay to this uh, this solution of this problem is over thank you